Today we're here for the environmental learning uh, community project that we've got on at, got on at Eco Birmingham. Um, we've got Nikki here today from Cannon Hill Cycling, uh, one of the ride leaders talking with us as well. Um, just to first go through a little bit about the environmental community learning project and who it's for. Um, so would you like your organisation to become more environmentally friendly? Uh, would you like to know how to support more active activity to promote greener and healthy lives in your area? Um, if so, then we are um, currently offering free support um, in developing an environmental action plan for organisations and community groups um, through peer support, training um, and fundraising support. Um, what we'll be doing is looking for a range of community organisations across Birmingham um, to work with and help them become more environmentally friendly, promoting more activity that leads to greener um, and healthier changes in the local area. Um, today we're going to be discussing um, community cycling um, and how we can get more people choosing cycling for shorter journeys um, and how it benefits um, the organisation and the community as a whole. Um, so, just go on to the next slide. So, cycling. Why we are trying to get people to choose cycling um, is because of the high levels of air pollution. Um, and currently they're, they're linked to 29,000 early deaths across the UK every year, um, and that's 900 in Birmingham, with transport being a major con con contributor to air pollution. Um, we need to rethink the way we travel. Um, so from a local point of view and um, community organisation, um, if we look at 60% of trips are taken by car uh, or under five miles, um, that's a distance that uh, many people could cycle easily um, and looking within the local communities um, it will be mostly service users coming to places that, that would be able to choose cycling for those little journeys, um, the shorter shopping trips or you know everyone needs a car for those longer journeys or you know need to use some sort of public transport or things like that so we're looking at like cycling um, and how we could get them just to choose these shorter journeys um, by bike. Um, so um, cycling, it's better for the individuals, the communities and the environment. Um, if we try and get people to choose bike, then they're going to arrive quicker, they'll feel happier, stress-free, um, great for your health um, and helps create a better environment and cleaner air for the whole community. Um, in Birmingham, there's now, like it's never been a better time to start cycling. Um, with a massive um, investment in cycling infrastructure. Um, we've got the new cycle uh, cycleways on the A34 and the A38, um, which are fantastic. Um, getting more people riding the new West Midlands cycle hire, making bikes more available for people. Um, we've got all the routes along canals and um, parks and green spaces, um, which a lot of people don't even know about. So there's uh, lots of different um, ways we can get from A to B by bike um, in Birmingham, but benefiting the, the whole community in, in loads of ways. So. We will go through those. Um, so it's a great way for people to get outside and meet new people. So this is one of the community rides that we've done at Eco Birmingham. Um, lots of different people, lots of smiles on their faces, um, children, adults, everyone coming along, meeting people that they probably would never have met otherwise. Um, we connect with, other, with each other. So we've got the, this is the um, children's tuition that we did in Frankly. Um, children coming along, um, it was fantastic. <laughs> the very cute photos. Um, and then we connect with nature and people improve their health and well-being. So all these green spaces, um, 
just free stress, free mind, um, and it can just yeah benefit everybody. Um, so I'm a, the cycling projects coordinator um, for Eco Birmingham, and we've got Cycle Saves Brum, um, which is one of our projects. Um, so we offer a variety, a variety of um, cycling activities from cycling tuition, learn to ride, um, bike handling skills, um, and then more advanced courses for bikeability for so, um, and cycling on the roads, um, bike maintenance um, courses, um, route finding sessions, and lead rides. Um, they're all fantastic, um, and these are just some of the ways that um, we can encourage people to feel more confident um, and get on bikes um, where they wouldn't probably normally. So why would we try and get people to do cycle tuition? Um, and it's just boosting confidence um, on two wheels. Everyone can benefit from tuition. It doesn't, it's not just for beginners or learn to ride or some people think, oh, it's just for children as well. So it's for adults too. Um, and it's just, you could, you know, you might be learning to ride, um, but then it's just having that confidence to be on the roads with the traffic, confident that you're doing the right thing. Um, the more advanced um, cycling tuition has been really popular after COVID um, and I think people have just got out on their bikes and realised what it's like to get outdoors and um, not be sat in the car all the time um, and it's just taken off. I mean, um, Nikki, you've been on one of our cycling tuition courses and was it the level two bike ability that you did? What did you think? Yes, I came on the level two um, and for me, because I hadn't cycled on the roads at all and obviously living in a city, I was really unsure. Um, but coming on the course gave me the confidence then to go out cycling on my own. Um, yeah, I think that's what a lot of the people um, say when they come along. It's really popular that it's just um, through confidence. I mean, how many people are just so nervous, especially with children? So if we look, some of the, this is one of the ladies that we've had recently um, and has taken part in um, a few of the sessions um, from basic tuition up until level two. Um, and her feedback here is, uh, I learned to cycle more safely on my own and with my children. I cycle in my daily, I cycle in my daily life now, I more, feel more confident going further. Um, excellent course and instructors. Um, it was also great to get some safe cycle with recommendations, very friendly and inspiring. So I think just thinking that you know people are going to want to be getting out and with an adult when you can't ride um, and your children can, um, it's just such a, a big thing to be able to, to go out uh, as a family and do those rides. I think people are learning that now. Um, and becoming more willing to give it a go and cycle for different reasons. Um, we move on to group rides. So another way to be able to um, encourage people to ride. Um, we've got group rides and cycling clubs. So Lots of people think, you know, that it's not for them or it's not something that they would find in their community, but group rides and clubs, they're not just for competitive sports people um, on road bikes, they run in all sorts of places, community organisations, workplaces, community centres, charities, um, places of worship. Um, they can help with building confidence, not just with building confidence with riding a bike, um, it's learning your local area and the cycle routes. Um, and having trained ride leaders um, and often these groups or clubs have got additional benefits from being affiliated with British Cycling and Cycling UK um, so that all really helps as well. Um, me personally I um, started in a cycling club, I cycle now every day, we got rid of our car two years ago um, but Never would I have thought maybe five, six years ago that I'd be doing that, but going to a, a group ride um, 
and then moving on to a, a weekly community led ride which wasn't anything like extravagant any long distance it was just um cycling to a local club that would cycle eight miles go to a cafe go to a pub on an evening or you know it was a real leisure sort of thing but listening to everybody else's stories what they've been up to what what they do and then you know really is encouraging um, and you learn a lot just from other being around other people and talking to other people. Nikki, how did you start um, getting into group rides um, and how, what was your experience when you first started? Um, so I was at Cannon Hill Park with my family and Cannon Hill Cycling Club were about to go off on one of their um, beginner rides and there was a lady there that was telling the leader that she didn't know what gear she was in she couldn't really signal or anything and I thought that's my kind of riding that is <laughs> so the next week I actually turned up um, and we we went on one of their beginner rides that was around the canals and things and then quickly within eight weeks I'd uh, progressed actually to go into the Sunday club rides um, which again were at all different levels um, and all different paces um, and then a year later I actually trained to be a Cycling UK and British Cycling ride leader um, so we take out guided rides on a Saturday which are for all levels I also take out breeze rides which are ladies only and just currently started a family ride as well Oh, fantastic. We can just move over to the next slide. I think we've got some images. Um, oh no, we just got some stats first. So like, we're just looking at the evidence from Cycling UK. So from what Nikki's just been saying is, you know, all the different levels that you get from a cycling club, um, starting from right from beginners up into more advanced. Um, but so people say that if People who joined the cycling club have reported that they cycle more often, um, they start to meet physical activity guidelines, they feel healthier, happier, better connected to their communities, starting to use a bike for shorter journeys and commuting. Um, so yeah, here we go, here's the pictures. So yeah, we've got, so this is Cannon Hill Cycling Club, um, a range of diff some different photos. So Nikki's just give us a brief um, introduction of what what, cycle, what kind of rides can he'll do. Um, but from my opinion, I've been on a few rides and it's just great. I've been from the beginner rides as well. Um, and then some rides recently with Nikki and people are fantastic. And I think that's what it's um, more about is the people and the, the people that you meet and the friendships that you make. What, what do you think, Nikki? Yeah, it can be, um, especially with longer rides, it can be very isolating if you're just doing those rides on your own week in, week out. So it's great then to have a, a group of people um, that have the same interests each week going out. Um, and then, like you say, you do build up friendships, relationships. Um, and then it gets to the point where you don't actually want to miss a week. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, and a lot of the people that come out on your rides, they're like they, they're not all just leisure riders, are they? Like, there's some people that will commute, some people that just come out on the weekends, some people that would do long distance rides for holidays, things like that. There's like all all sorts of different types of riders as well, isn't there? Yeah, so we've got, um, you know, just leisure riders. Um, we have um, an ordax section of the club. We have the speedy ones that, that want to go at 16 plus miles an hour, um, you know, right down to the very beginners, which is great. And they're always um, fully supported as well, whichever ride they decide to go on. Fantastic. Um, so thanks a lot, Nikki. Yeah, that, some of these pictures here, they just, with the sunshine that we've got today, it's making me want to go out on a ride. Yeah. <laughs> this is fantastic so yeah thank you for your um feedback nikki um and letting us sharing us with what how you um got into cannon hill cycling club um if people are interested in joining a ride how would they do that 
Um, so they can actually um, have a look on Facebook for Cannon Hill Park Cycling or Cannon Hill Cycling Club is actually on Google as well. And then they can get in touch with us through that. Um, our Saturday rides are on the Let's Ride um, website. Yeah, so let's ride.co.uk um, and you'll find Cannon Hill Cycling Club and lots of other local um, community um, clubs that were advertised on there as well. Um, some of them offer uh, bike hire, um, all different areas. So do have a look on that there. Um, hopefully we've um, give you a little bit of an insight into how cycling can help the community get together, um, the benefits um, and just to promote um, more um, activity based around cycling um, and becoming um, a greener and healthier changes in your local neighbourhood. Um, if you'd like to find out more about the community learning project um, and how you can get involved, then you can email Jackie at ecobirmingham.com. And thank you for joining us today.